And what is up guys, Technicals here. It's been a while since we've done a salad update. So I'm gonna go ahead and showcase what I've been earning. Take a look at what I could be earning if I'm mining cryptocurrency to see if it still makes sense to stay on salad. Additionally, I think it's time to start gambling a little bit with some of our proceeds from salad. So we're gonna take some of those proceeds and throw it back into the casino, that being cryptocurrency in its entirety and uh, track it along the way to see whether or not it was a good move to use those dollars to buy the coin, just buy the coin, or to just cash them out and pay our power bill and so on and so forth. On the technicals, let's get into it. Before that, hey you, you look like a guy who could use a power strip with a lot of outlets. Well, say less fam, introducing the Trond TDPS US 27S power strip with 24 AC outlets and a rotating plug. Additionally, it comes with three USB-A and three USB-C charging ports at the bottom. Surge energy rating up to 4,000 joules. So if you're like me and need to plug in a whole lot of really low power stuff in one area, check out the Trond. Link in the description below. And once again, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Been doing salad a few months now. A lot of other creators are doing it. A lot of people in general are doing it because mining cryptocurrency is not so great uh, in the current uh, climate. And so we've just been steadily accumulating it. If you're unfamiliar, Sal, it's a platform that utilizes your computer, GPU, CPU to do AI workloads. It also has crypto mining. It has bandwidth sharing, some other sort of things peppered in there. Uh, but really, I'm just interested in the AI container workloads. And they're wildly inconsistent. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. But overall, over the past few months, it's been, uh, uh, no question, more profitable than cryptocurrency mining. This is what I'm rolling with. I also have this machine back here that runs a uh, 7900 X and a uh, 3080 Ti with 64 gigs of RAM because I maintain that running high system RAM is a good way to get container jobs. Now, with Salad, again, if you're unfamiliar, having you know top end modern equipment is going to get you workloads before other people and sure there are stories out there of people getting container workloads with lesser equipment but you know we don't, we don't have access to salads algorithm on how they choose that but in my experience having the good shit really makes a difference so right now i've got the one two three four five six seven rigs seven so it's seven basically seven gaming computers that i'm using for this uh, this one doesn't really count because I'm testing a theory. I put it on another account, which is against Salad's TOS. I fully understand. Uh, but just in order to test whether or not uh, the workloads are sort of account bound, that does not seem to be the case. So I'll probably go ahead and just migrate that one back over into my main account. Uh, but if we take a look, all of mine have 64 gigs of RAM, aside from that 2080 Ti rig. Most of them are on 4070s, and most of them have really, really good CPUs as well. And over the past 30 days, you can see I had some downtime here for various things, tinkering, tooling, floods, things like that. Uh, but just kind of scrolling through here, you can kind of see I'm kind of in the average of probably around that $8, 7 $8 range per day over these seven rigs. So it's basically, I'm just going to say, just to keep things super duper easy, a dollar per day. So it is more than that, uh, but again, keeping it super duper simple, a dollar per day. I'm going to assume a dollar per day in profit. These don't pull a lot of power. They only pull power really uh, when they're actually on a container workload. And, you know, kind of based on this, that's really only two machines per day on like a $4 job. And at that point, it's really pulling about 200 watts. So it's a lot of back of the envelope. It's a lot of uh, assumption and things like that. But I'm going to assume just for comparison, based on, you know, cryptocurrency mining, that I'm profiting a dollar per day per rig. And as you can see over the past 30 days, I didn't have all these online, but still, you know, again, to keep things simple, $207 over the past 30 days. Uh, my total lifetime balance seven hundred twenty-three dollars. So, you know, I'm sure if we did the math out longer, it certainly a hundred percent would have made sense to do it. But two hundred seven, uh, you know, that's uh, that's less than a ten dollars per day, certainly. Uh, but you know, if we kind of look at the trend line here. It certainly looks like overall things are kind of skewing down a little bit. And I don't think I really need to make a spreadsheet for this. I think I could probably keep track of this in my head uh, as to whether or not it would make sense to mine versus do salad. Uh, because we go down here, the best uh, CPU that I have currently, 8700G, I don't know, that's probably not you know better than a 7950X 3D or the 7900X. But if we go over here, this wobbles all over the place, as everyone knows, and we're only going on calculator websites, you know, they don't list everything. And sometimes things pop off and they're super duper profitable, but it goes away in like a day or two. So, you know, if there's a big disparity between, you know, say Spectre Network, it says it profits uh, 72 cents per day. Uh, versus Zephyr saying it profits 44 cents. That means that something's going on with Spectre and uh, I'm not really gonna consider that. So 
I'll probably take Zephyr here at the 44 cent mark. Probably do the same thing here with my 4070s because Xano is saying 15 cents per day in profit uh, versus 16 cents. So we'll we'll take that. So we'll say 44 plus 16, that's 60. Uh, so that's 60 cents per day in profit per one CPU and one GPU. And so multiply that by seven, it's less than a dollar. Not only that, this is being estimated at my power rate and I, you know, mine rounds up to eight cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, I, my power is seven and a half, about seven and a half cents per kilowatt hour. I know everyone else's is more, so that's only going to really make it worse in terms of whether or not it makes sense to mine cryptocurrency or do salad. So all said and done, it still seems like salad is, if not double, uh, approaching double still, uh, more profitable to do than to mine cryptocurrency. But again, like we all know, salads paying you out in PayPal gift cards or Amazon gift cards or Roblox money or whatever. Uh, that's not cryptocurrency. There's no upside there. No one's going to pay 10x for your Roblox dollars or whatever they use in Roblox. Is Roblox still a thing? But we as crypto miners, we as DGENs, we as gamblers, we want to know. We want to see that. We want to do a little bit of that because you start feeling the itch. You want to head into the casino and roll the dice, baby. So that's what I'm going to do this time around because I'm feeling like we're kind of not at the bottom, but you know, certainly in a bear market. And I'm starting to look at some of these projects. And again, I don't think any of them uh, deserve to exist. But when I see a project that actually is being used for something that people are paying real money for, the, the fingers on the back of my neck start going woo, woo, woo. And I start thinking, maybe, hey, maybe there's some potential here. So, so why are you on Civit AI technicals? Well, I'll tell you, because I was cruising Civit AI, trying to learn a little bit about what our workloads are doing on the back end of Salad. Because if you go to Salad's website, Civit AI is listed as one of their customers that's using our systems to do work. And so I'm checking out Civit AI, trying to learn a little bit about stable diffusion, how to render AI stuff, because maybe there's some money to be made in there because people are buying our GPU power for a reason, in order to make money, I imagine. So head over to Civit AI. It's a place where people generate images using uh, uh, GPU power and whatnot. Um, turn, go ahead and turn off the filter. And and then in, in seven months, come back and you know let me know how your life is. Uh, there, there is adult content being generated on this website. And I imagine that might be where some of the money is going because on Civit AI, they have their own native sort of currency called Buzz and you can pay for buzz you can pay real money for buzz and the buzz is used on the site to generate images and so i'm like okay cool that's the in i guess but i really ran into the stopping point as to where okay once i use this buzz or my gpu and stable diffusion on my system to generate these image images well, well what do i do with it um do, do i sell it um you know because selling adult content online it's I mean, there's a lot of free adult content online. I wouldn't know where to begin with that kind of thing. And I don't know that pictures of octopuses with headphones on are uh, really making that much money. So I don't, you know, that's kind of where I'm stopped. And I'm not sure where sort of the, uh, the value proposition is here. But a lot of people are spending money on it. A lot of people are using this platform. And so I'm cruising Civit AI. I've been doing it for a few weeks. And I noticed, I noticed flux on civet ai and i'm like well is this the same flux because i see flux 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 everywhere flux is a big ecosystem full of all kinds of bips and bobs and you know things uh is this the same flux but it, it, it appears to be um so flux is a uh a checkpoint a laura a uh, uh, uh it's kind of like i guess i mean and i don't know shit about <laughs> generating ai stuff because it's quite confusing to me, uh, but as far as I can tell, Flux is a uh, like a, a reference point, a jumping off point for you know whatever image that you want to uh, to to go with, and you can add different sorts of filters and other LoRa's and things like that into it. But Flux seems to be really really good. Uh, if we scroll down here, oh, is the filter on? <sighs> okay, safe for YouTube. All right, all right. Uh, we're good. We're good. Oh, incognito mode saved the day. Um, anyway, Flux is generating some images that are absolutely, you know, insane. And, um, you know, if you're an extremely online internet person, you've seen AI images that look incredible, I'm sure. But these are ones being generated by schmoes like me. And, you know, a lot of them on the website itself. You know, some of them are super ultra hyper realistic. Some of it you can tell with all of these, you know, because, uh, 
uh, what's it called? Strange forest theory, dark forest theory or whatever, you know, humans are able to tell what is fake and what isn't, but it's, it's getting insane. And so flux seems to be like one of the real leaders in, uh, in terms of like a preferred Laura or checkpoint that's being used here on civet civet taking in real money. Uh, people use real money to buy phony civet money and people use phony civet money to generate images using flux. And so if flux is kind of plugged into this, I can't help but think that there's some way that flux flux's value should go up based on this, because a lot of people seem to be plugged into this. A lot of people seem to be enjoying themselves, making images using flux. And so I'm going to take my salad earnings from the previous 30 days, 200, not a lot. I'm going to go ahead and lay it down on flux. All right, let's take a look here. How do I get my hands on some? Oh, all right, so it would appear that Flux isn't really traded on any, uh, you know, super normie exchange that I can easily access. So I'm not going to go through that process because I'm not going to, uh, you know. Anyway, I will get it and I will bank it and maybe we'll track it and see how well it does. Because on the heels of the uh, just buy the coin versus buying the miner video that I recently did, you know, maybe it's time to see like just buy the coin versus doing uh, other things to... Uh, get the money using my equipment, of course, and then buy the coin with that. Because in the end, it's all cryptocurrency and, you know, we're kind of, uh, we're just taking a few extra steps. Tacticals, why don't you just mine Flux? It's, you, you could, because it wouldn't be as much. Yes, you could do an auto switching platform. Unminable currently does Flux, so I could mine all these different things and get paid out in Flux, yes. And that's a more direct path to it without me having to take money send it to an exchange or, you know, convert it to something and then send it to an exchange and then buy it and then send it off the exchange to my wallet. Uh, but there are fees just laced in all the through that kind of thing. And there's fees doing it my way too. Uh, but the fees, at least doing it my way, are kind of more known. I also tried uh, setting up Flux Core on one of the salad rigs and I let it run for about 24 hours and I got goose egg. So I know that you can uh, you can do it that way as well, and hopefully there's more potential in the future for Flux Core. Uh, but as of right now, Salad's actually making money. So just to address that before someone comments on it. And this is not me showing the coin, uh, because again, I've said a million zillion times, I don't believe in any of these coins, but it's rare, in my opinion, when I see something that is being used, at least in a roundabout way, for some practical purpose that people are actually paying money for. And again, I don't care what they're paying the money for or what they're doing with it after the fact. My only question is whether or not enough people will do that uh, to uh, sustain the price and send the price higher. Um, and if that's the case, maybe other people will notice that. And then during when, if a bull run comes around, other people will jump on and do the same thing and then the price will go through the roof and then I won't have to do YouTube anymore. So I'd love to know what you think in the comments below or show me your best coin that's currently being used for something practical. I'm not talking about it's currently being used to sell snow cones in Zimbabwe at, uh, at a chain of four snow cone carts. That, that kind of shit does not count. Uh, you know, if they've got, oh, well, the, this, comp this coin said that they've partnered with Walmart. Are they currently being used in Walmart? Can you prove it? You know, there's all these kind of things that come along in cryptocurrency all the time with, you know, we're being used for this or we're going to do this or we're going to announce that we're going to announce that we're going to do this. You know, this seems to be being used right now. And I that's that's great for me, because if that's the case, then I'll buy some. I'll throw the dice and we'll see what happens. Anyway, love to know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and like the video because it's just a nice thing to do. I'm the technicals. See you next time.